Welcome back to our ongoing coverage of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, where there is one participant whose performance has been highly anticipated. Joining us now, it's the coronavirus. <coughs> Mr. Virus, the anticipation around your presence here in Tokyo has been contagious. How do you feel? Well, as you know, over the past year since the games were postponed, I've only gotten faster and stronger, a lot stronger. Yes, you might even say that the delta between last year and this year has increased. <laughs> oh, man, did you just actually make that joke on air? Just following the science, sir. Okay, what sports are you particularly excited about? Well, obviously I've prepared a lot for the six-foot dash, which I cover in half the time now, as you probably know. I'm also a perennial favorite at unwashed handball, uh, and I'm looking to make a huge leap in the vaccine pole vault. Could be a real breakthrough event for me. You know, a lot of people predicted that you would absolutely dominate this Olympics. How does that affect you mentally? Well, yeah, it's a lot of pressure, particularly with all the social media where I'm a pretty big deal. Sometimes I feel like it's too much, you know? But then... I think of all those unvaccinated people who I'm competing for, and it helps me power through. Right. Now, let me ask you this. Have your fellow competitors been welcoming to you, or have... Ah, uh, please. They couldn't care less, man. Seriously. Do you know how much sex goes on in the Olympic Village? I wouldn't touch those bedsheets with a 10-foot protein spike. Public regime!